Hi everybody, it is Saturday, July 22nd. Uh, we are up here in Missoula, Montana, and uh, gonna be heading out pretty soon to a sound check for the gig tonight. And then uh, after the show, we are heading off, I don't know, Billings maybe or something. I don't, we're still in Montana for another show. And then we start our incredibly long drive to the Eastern Ohio. Um, we have two days off, which are gonna be spent on the bus, um, driving about 1,800 miles, um, living the dream, as they say, and give all this up. Um, it's, uh, it's nuts. That's the hard part of touring, is what we got coming up here. My heart really goes out to uh, Emery and Al and, and Sean and the guys, the drivers who are driving the buses and the trucks. It's a, that's really a, a, a tough haul. But that's what they do. Um, so I'm going to do a little music here. And then today when we get to the venue, I'll take a look, see what we got, and try to get some filming done and send that off. And I'm really excited tonight because I get to see my sister and my brother-in-law, um, who I have not since... I have not seen them since COVID, uh, so it'll be really nice to, to get together with them, even if it's only for a short period of time, it'll be really great. Um, so I th thought I'd do a little music. I'm gonna go back and visit uh, a, a singer I worked with a long, long time ago <clears throat> named Joey Scarberry. Um, I got to know Joey through Mike Post. Um, I'll read you a little of Joey's bio here, and then we'll play a little music and talk about it. But Joey Scarberry was born June 7th, 1955, as an American singer and songwriter, best known for his hit song, the theme from The Greatest American Hero, Believe It or Not, in 1981. Scarberry was born in Ontario, California. Uh, growing up in Thousand Oaks, he was continually encouraged by uh, in his ambition to sing by his mother at, 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 at the age of 14. After being spotted by uh, songwriter Jimmy Webb's father, he was signed to a recording contract with Dunhill Records. Uh, Scarberry's first single, She Never Smiles Anymore, flopped, and he was soon without a record label. Uh, citing Dan Seals uh, and John Ford Coley, England Dan and John Ford Coley, um, as an influence, he stayed around the music business throughout the 70s, first as a backup for artists, including country artist Loretta Lynn, and occasionally recording his own material, although he had a minor chart single with Mixed Up Guy in 1971. Real chart success eluded him for the rest of the decade. In the late 70s, he started working for record producer and composer Mike Post, and this is where we all come into this. Post was hired along with Stephen Geyer to write the theme uh, tuned for a new TV series titled The Greatest American Hero about an average high school teacher who becomes who comes into possession of a superhero outfit from aliens. Uh, after recording the full length version of the song titled Believe It or Not, it was edited down to a minute for broadcast as the theme song for the show. The show's success, along with its catchy theme song, prompted Electra Records to first release it as a single, shooting up to number two on the Billboard Hot 100. Similarly titled album, Greatest American Hero, uh, America's Greatest Hero, which is the album I'm going to be showing you, was also hastily produced and sold well. However, Scarberry could not follow up the song's success, and after charting at number 49 with a follow-up single, When She Dances, he once again disappeared from the charts. He went on to work with Post again in the mid-'80s to record the song back-to-back -back for the television series Hardcastle and McCormick and teamed up with Desiree Goyette to record Flash Beagle and Snoopy for the Peanut special. It's Flash Beagle, Charlie Brown. And then it goes on all kinds of different things here about how, you know, the careers go up and down. Um, it's a really tough life, you know. I mean, you can be on top of it one minute and then the next minute, you know, it's whatever. Kind of, but, but like when we did the, uh, for those that have seen Rhinestone with Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone, Joey was part of the house band that I was part of on that. And we did some stuff together over the years. But I am going to... Um, get back to this album here. Um, uh, so the album, we cut this in 1981, and it's called America's Greatest Hero, uh, Joey Scarberry. And um, on this album, uh, it was arranged by Steve Geyer and Mike Post. Backing vocals on this are Herb Peterson, Joey Scarberry, Laura Mumford, and Linda Dillard. Uh, I shared bass duties on tracks with Neil Steubenhaus. Sid Sharp was the concert master, Mike Baird the drummer, 
uh, Stephen Cannell, who was the uh, did Greatest American Hero, is the executive producer. John Goo, Larry Carlton, and Steve Geyer are on guitar. Larry Mahobrak on keyboards. Jeff Gerson on percussion. Uh, and Ian Underwood, Larry Mahobrak, and Todd Cochran are on synth. I knew Ian from back in the days when he was in the Mothers of Invention, and Larry was one of the main call uh, keyboard players and uh, arrangers in uh, LA. And then he eventually moved to Australia where he had um, some jingle accounts and stuff, and he decided to uproot to there. And uh, now I've worked a lot with his son, Jamie Mahobarak. So let me play you a, a couple of these tunes here. Here we go. Um, I'll do the theme. So this is called Stolen Night.
Okay, let's listen to another one here. This is called Down the Back Stairs of My Life. such a great pianist. It's reminded me always of Larry Nechtel, uh, who did Bridge Over Troubled Water piano on that, but I did a lot of work with both of those guys, and uh, they were both pretty amazing. So here's the here's his, Joey's big hit though. This was the, uh, believe it or not, this was a theme from Greatest American Hero, and the album is called America's Greatest Hero. So here we go, you'll recognize this one. This was fun when we did this. We did so many shows with Mike Post. Uh, hopefully this won't get blocked. <laughs> it's a, never a guarantee on, on these things when you get into this territory, so let's see what happens. So here we go.
There we go, Joey Scarberry, 1981, America's Greatest Hero. So uh, I'm gonna get myself packed up here and get ready to check out of the hotel and head off to sound check and another show tonight. Visit my sister and my brother-in-law and jump on the bus and off to somewhere else. <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day. It's so funny. I've said it before. I played on the music for Groundhog Day, but I never thought I would be living Groundhog Day. And uh, that's exactly where we're at at this point. So take good care, everybody. I will probably see you this afternoon with a venue um, tour once I see where we're at. Uh, but it's a lovely little area here in Missoula. Went out for a nice walk last night, found an Indian restaurant, hadn't had Indian in a while, and uh, it was great. Was just grabbed it to go, came back to the room and just relaxed and um, chowed down and watched some TV and finally got a little bit of sleep. So take good care, and I will see you later on. Okay, bye-bye.